So it's date night and you don't know what to do. Try cooking up a simple pasta, bacon carbonara. I'll show you how. It's the simplest thing in the world. I've got some boiling water and I've added uh, two teaspoons of salt into it. So that it tastes like the sea. So it tastes like the sea. You've got to get it to the level of the sea. So if you don't know how much pasta to use per person, get yourself one of these. It's just a Coke bottle. What you do is you put it on and whatever falls through the hole is enough for one person. So there we go. That's enough for one person. Brilliant. Chuck that in. We've got two people. I'll do two of these. And it goes. Okay, now what I'm going to do is fry up some of the bacon. I'm going to cook most of it, but there are four pieces in particular that I'm going to slightly overcook, and that's what I'll put on top. The rest will be cut up. Now, the easiest way to do it is just to cut it all in half, and then fry it up. Cool. So just layer it out. Uh, it doesn't have to be hot when you start, but the last pieces will be going hot and sizzling. So just separate them out. I'm actually using a smoked bacon because I want to get a little bit more flavor out of it. Okay, you want to turn it when it's, you don't want to overcook it. You still want a bit of juiciness in it. So this is perfect. Okay, so these are the four that are going to be put on top and we want to just crisp them so they look like beautifully cooked bacon, which they almost do. The easiest way to decide how you, if your pasta is cooked or not is to literally just try it. Grab it, pull off a little piece. Watch out because it's quite hot. And just pop it in your mouth. A little bit al dente, probably another five more minutes. Right, we're going to chop up two cloves of garlic, squash, squash. Then your peels come off like magic. Put that all far away, we don't want any of that in there. Slice it down one side. It's Italian food, so you don't have to worry, you can have coarse garlic. Turn it around carefully and chop it the other way. Good. And we're going to place it in that reserved bacon fat, but my stove is not on yet. Drain the spaghetti into a colander, but make sure that you collect all the water below. This is very important. We've got some garlic in there and the bacon juices. We're going to get our bacon that we cooked for the sauce. I'm going to chop up the bacon. Pour into the carbonara. You guys can't see what I'm doing on the counter, but all I'm doing is slicing up some bacon. Not too small. So you've got your packet of soup. You need to look on the back what it tells you to mix. So in this case, this whole soup goes with one litre of water. I don't quite need that much sauce. I'm going to use half the packet of soup. And I'll understand that it needs half a litre of super. Okay. And I'm going to tip half it to a cup. Give it a little feel. No, a little bit more. Good. Just adding the bacon and to cool the pan down. Because we've used half, it'll make half a litre. So this cup is half of that, 250 mils. I'm going to fill it up with this milk. The other half, the other cup, we're going to use our pasta water for the mushroom soup. Into bacon. And I'm going to come over to my spaghetti over here. And I'm going to grab out a cup of the. And remember, this was salted, so I don't need to add any extra salt. And we get. Keep stirring until it's all come to the boil. I'm going to put it on fine grate. Although this is just cheddar, you can use parmesan if you fancy. Depending on the girlfriend you're trying to impress. But cheddar works beautifully. So at this point, we take a little bit of our spatula onto a plate or onto your surface, just so we can see if it's seasoned okay. Mm -hmm. Remember, the pasta has enough salt in it. This is perfect. At this point, you've cooked your sauce, you've cooked your spaghetti. You can actually put this in a container and this in a container once it's cooled. Keep it in the fridge until anybody arrives, your guests arrive, and then you put the two together. Once they're together, a little bit more difficult, but keep these two separate. 
and then you can combine them as your girlfriend arrives and you can be like, I'm just finishing off the pasta and look absolutely amazing as you finish it off, right? And you throw in your spaghetti professionally and we're going to mix that up because our spaghetti was cooked al dente, not overcooked. It's going to finish its cooking in the sauce. Get it all coated in the sauce and that's what Italian food is all about is that sauce cooked, the pasta cooked in the sauce. I've got some parsley that I'm just going to chop up for sprinkling on top. You can use flat leaf parsley, you can use basil, fresh oregano if you have. It's just going to make a little little green sprinkle for the top. Loosely break some lettuce and although it's salad we do want it to taste nice. Here are the secrets. A little drizzle of honey, not too much, just a little bit, just sweetens up those leaves. Drizzle of olive oil, just a flavour, balsamic vinegar. So we go in with our spoon and a fork and we twist. That should make a lot. Well, well, let's start with that little bit. Use our spoon to make our little roll pasta. We've got a few leftover twiddles, give it another twiddle on the plate. Alright, gorgeous thing of pasta. Good sprinkle of cheese. And lettuce is always good with a pasta. Looks fabulous. Two beautiful pieces of bacon and finish with black pepper. Parsley. Parsley around, throw it all over the plate, so creatively, beautiful. Then black pepper, if you've got one of those fancy grinders, do it at the table. Oh, look at that beautiful spaghetti. 